Hello buddies, in this video I will show you how you can install SAP Commerce Suite. In general, downloading is an easy thing, but it can be extremely challenging when it comes to SAP products. First of all, I will drop you a tricky hint so you can go directly to the download page without having to navigate between dozens of links. Open your navigator and type in this URL. launchpad.support.sap.com slash dash slash software center you can find it below in the video description, so you should just copy and paste it. This will lead you to the login page, like this one. And here you just need your lo login and password. The login is the famous S user. If your employee is an ACP partner company, then you can ask your boss or the manager in your organization to provide you with that account or he can request this for you. Or if you are integrating SAP Commerce solution in one of your projects, then your customer might as well request this for you. Otherwise, you don't stand a chance. You cannot get access to this download area if you have not got that, that is user account. Now I will enter my login and password. I'm sorry because I'm gonna put a blue on my on this on my S user because this is a confidential information. Click on continue. Enter my password. And after a while you will land on this page. This is the SAP software downloads page. In the list box on your left hand side you have got different values. So I will choose the download value because I'm looking for something to download. In the search area, I will type in SAP Commerce. When I click on enter, I will come up with hundreds of results. As you can see, the first results concern the old version of SAP Commerce Suite and this was called Hybris Commerce Suite plus the version number. The first digit, for example the 5 here, is the main version and digit after the dot is for patch number. This naming convention was used till version uh, 6.7 and after that the naming convention has changed and ACP uses the month and the year digits in which the version was released. Now I am looking for something that is called SAP Commerce, so I will scroll down till I get there. This is what I'm looking for, SAP Commerce installation product. We need to click on the installation product, not the maintenance products. In the first one, we can find the product we are looking for. In the second one, we have only patches. Now, in the download tab, we can go to 1905, this one. That means this was released in May 2019. I click on it. In the tab info, I can find instructions on how to install it. This is something we can see in the next video. If now I go back to downloads tab and click on 19. 05. I can find two zip files, one for CX Commerce, CX stands for Customer Experience. So the first one is CX Commerce, the, the second one is CX Data Hub. Do you have any idea about Data Hub? Okay, maybe I will explain the things about this Data Hub in a separate video in the future. In a nutshell, Data Hub is the, the connector or the bridge between SAP ERP and SAP platform, e-commerce platform. The SAP e-commerce platform is built with Java programming language. For example, if I want to transfer something or an order, for example, from SAP Hybris or SAP Commerce, this is the same thing to SAP ERP, I can do it in different ways, either by using XML formats, REST APIs, 
The other alternative is to use the SAP connector. But let us not concentrate on our main purpose that is CX Commerce. Click on the CX Commerce 1905. Then you will get to this page. Click on the zip file you want to download. Confirm. And save your file in your preferred folder. If you go to your download folder, you can see that the file being downloaded. I've already done it, so it's it will be something like 1.5 gigabytes. You are done. In this video, we have seen how to download the ACP Commerce Suite from a from ACP Portal. In next video, we'll see how to to install this commerce platform. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and activate the bell. Thank you. See you later.